hello there, friends. Duke of Hayes plays here. Thank you once again for allowing me in your homes. This is episode uh, 16 of our Divine Divinity walkthrough gameplay series. Um, last episode, we got two of the League of Seven. We got the Orc and Gomo the Lizard. Uh, this episode, we should be getting the Imp and going into the Dark Forest and uh, mostly killing wild animals in the Dark Forest for a while. We're also getting our Noble Dagger. Lots of cool stuff to come. If you like what, if you like what you see, please like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. Please consider following me here on this channel as well as the main channel at Duke of Hayes, where I'm currently documenting a weight loss journey. We are down 15 pounds. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Hey, no! You motherfuckers, I'm gonna kill you. But don't you worry. Yeah, you come on close. Come here, you little bitch. Fucking idiot. No, they killed the cat. You will pay. What was the deal with zombie Jake, dude? I thought he was supposed to show up in this graveyard at some point. Like there's a third fight against him. That zombie Jake character. Not even my wife. Signed Jake, eh? Stupid. Droxy wants to go to council now. See, it's funny because it works. It works. So this guy, do not say. Oh, so I'm here to persuade you to join the council. Zach Andrix and Council of Seven. He not Zagrid choose by Council Magic Arctic choose one tricks between. Who the hell is Ants? Yes, yes, Root and if you want, he's in here in Magic Place. Ansk Magic Place, what are you blathering about, Imp? We saw you in the Scrying Stone. In here, in Magic Sphere, Ansk is here, hiding, Flix Flex, Council Spell, not show me, it show, it show me, it show me with Tiny Sphere, understand? Ansk, Imp, you want, he's in Sphere of Magic, So I understand, how can I speak to Ansk if he's the real council member of the Imps? Touch the Sphere, it do the dress, Trex Flex, so touch it, because if you hit no, it's a game-breaking bug and you have to load a previous save because it doesn't work. It You can never ask him to enter the sphere again, so... If I were you, I would do this right now. Golden key, here we go. Sometimes when you open these urns, they teleport you places. Oh, nice lightning damage, dude. Like, I care. I don't know if there's a good or evil choice here, but, like, the queen bee is, like, you know, these, these wasps are trying to take over, and so I just normally help the bees just because they seem like they're the nicer ones. Welcome, human. I am Lysandra, queen of bee, the queen bee of Arakand. There was a time when my kind were a proud race, but we now live in times of peril and danger. Your arrival's fortuitous, and I would ask a favor of you. Uh, the reason why I'm here is I'm looking for an imp to name Ansk. I heard he's somewhere in this universe. Universe? You mean Arakand? I guess. An imp, you say? A small two-legger who always talks in a funny way? I believe we're talking about the same guy. Where can I find him? This funny-talking creature came here some time ago, asked to live in his stone hive at the other end of our garden. I have the key that opens the magical gates to his new home. I would give it to you if you're going to help us. What can I do for you? Tell me about Arakand. It's a small world, and we live in this wonderful garden where my beloved subjects can easily collect nectar. You should see the garden in spring when it's f in full bloom with all the flowers blossoming and the air is rich with fragrance. What can I do for you? The garden Arakant has always been our home, but lately we have been plagued by wasps who wish to drive us out so they may make Arakant their home. And we've managed to deal with wasps until recently because they are brutal and strong. They are somewhat dim-witted. We've always managed to outwit them and defend our home. And things have changed? Yes, a new breed of mutated wasps has emerged with greater intellect. We now face a greater threat than ever before. Even as I speak, there are mutated wasps within Arakan's borders. And what is it that you wish me to do now? I ask that you help us defeat this wasp threat. We are not the invaders here. We are merely defending our home. Mm, yes, you sound honest. So you say yes, and then this guy's like, I'm a wizard, and I'll, uh, I'm, for some reason, making the wasps. Hail, human. I saw that you were speaking to Lysandra the Queen Bee. Maybe you'd reconsider helping the bees. And who might you be? I'm Ragan, the mighty Archmage. Forgive me, but you look more like a wasp than a powerful Archmage. Alas, you are correct. I transformed myself into this form, but I'm unable to reverse the process. It is most annoying. How clever of you. Watch your tongue or you shall feel my sting. Why are you helping the wasps? What? Cthunatel, the queen Cthunatel, the queen of the wasps, has promised to restore me back to my natural form if I would help her. If I'd help her. So your help is not freely given? Oh, I help willingly. After all, the wasps have much have as much right to this garden than the bees. 
Wait, what? Have as much right to this garden as the bees, not than the bees. Have as much right as the bees. Why is it the bee? Why is it the bees and wasps cannot live together in Arakand in peace? Kuthanotel would never agree to that. No, the bees must leave this place or die. Why should I reconsider my position with the bee queen? The wasps have as much right to be here as the bees. So? The wasps are in great need of a place to breed as to expand their hive. But the bees have been here a long time. Irrelevant. Besides, the wasps are a stronger race, so they should rule here. Oh, you are wrong. Oh, you are wrong. The bees have been here for a long time. It is their home. Your waspish interlopers cannot be allowed to force them to leave. We will see. In the end, you'll be before me, bleeding your life out. Uh-huh. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, dude. Besides, you know, all that strongest should rule shit is kind of... <sighs> kind of, uh, sussy. Oops, I accidentally hit the end of the mic. Let me make sure that, uh, it's still working. Test, test, two, test. Test, 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 test. Yeah, there we go. Just making sure it's working. Sometimes I bump that mic and, uh, bad things happen. But yeah, that whole right to rule shit is not something I can get down with. I gotta be careful, because, like... You can accidentally kill the bees, and I don't want to do that. And you don't want that. But yeah, whenever you open these golden urns, um, some of them teleport you further into the garden, and they can teleport you into a place that's pretty dangerous. I think this one does that. Well, I was wrong. Boy, do I have egg on my face. It's this one up here, then. But it, it teleports you further in, and like you get surrounded by wasps pretty quickly. Which can be a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, put that away, can I talk to you? Let me control S, because I don't want to accidentally attack this thing. Alright, no. If you draw your weapon, you can attack, like, them, and... I don't know. I'm not trying to betray the poor bees. I don't want to betray them. Okay, so this is a wasp, but it has a positive disposition with me, like what? Yeah, that's a bee. That's a wasp. That's a wasp. Huh. I wonder if I have to kill that wasp that has the positive disposition with me. Okay, I can open one of two of these. Yeah, this one's positive for whatever reason. Huh. I wonder if I have to kill him or not. So control S. One of these teleports here. So it's not this one. Uh, let me just attack him then. Yo, he drops a key. Okay, this one for sure teleports me. Huh. I guess not. Well, I was wrong. 32, home, winced, on, 32, let's see here, call his own mother, yeah, at this point I'm pretty sure I'm hit capped, it doesn't ever seem to go higher than 94%, okay, I thought I saw a wasp come down here, <laughs> How rude. Here, I'll put a point in spiritual damage. And then maybe I'll get a point in poison. We'll see. I don't know what else I could be putting my points into. Like, I guess augment damage. I could get, like, points in natural resistance, which maybe I could do. To not have to rely so much on charms. Okay, this wasp has a positive disposition with me. So he must drop a key of some kind. That's you, Kuthanel, or whatever your name is? You don't want to, you don't, you didn't want to help the wasps, and now the bees are victorious. The wasps are in ruin, and, is, and, and hold on. You didn't want to help the wasps, and now the bees are victorious. The wasps are in ruin, as am I. For now, the wasp queen will surely never transform me back to my original form. For this, you shall die. Oh, come on, Ragon. Come on, season six. Oh, is that it? But there's still more to kill. You've done it, human. You've defeated the mutant, the mutation, Rigon, and have, and the evil wasps. My race and I are most grateful to you. We can now look towards a more peaceful life. The wasps will need some, quite some time to recover from their losses. It was a just cause. I was glad I could help you. For your help, I offer you this skill as a reward so you can take control over every summoned creature. Take this key. It opens the magical gates to the big stone hive behind me. Now that you shall be forever welcome in the Garden of Arakand. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Your Highness. Your Royal Highness! I mean, I can still kill them, so that's cool. Just click away. Oh, she gave me a skill. Oh, I got a free skill point out of it. Sweet. 
Uh, what, which one of these is like magical, de magical defense? Like I'm gonna get one point in poison weapon and then I'll just have the chance to proc a bunch of different elemental types. Just to see, but dang, a free point in damage. That's crazy. Now, one of these is called like natural resistance or something. Not spiritual damage. It must be like over here somewhere. Necro shift allows you to possess the body of a slain enemy for a short period of time. How bizarre. Okay, I have a free aura of command, which is fine. Magic barrier. Gain an extra boost to all of your resistances. Okay, so magic barrier might be the next thing we start putting points in. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Just because, like... We'll see what my resistances look like after I finish kitting out all my gear with charms, like... Is that a vacuum? What a surprise. Room tum tuber surprise. Man, that shit is loud. All the cats are gonna be scared. Okay, so this guy must drop a key. Control S. Oh, there's a golden key right here. I'm tied into the dwarves' ass. Man, that shit is so loud. It's insane. Oh, Angel of Revenge. Not even a good weapon to, like, be fighting this dude over. You know... What's up with that, huh? Like, do you need to do something special to open this urn? I don't know. Answer to that question is, I don't know. I mean, she's vacuuming the carpet just because I wanted to do sit-ups in her room because it's like a very- it's way more spacious than my room. And I need to start working on ab workouts. Well, at least attempt to. I've never been able to do a sit-up before, so it was the first time for everything, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever found the key for that one. If I'm being honest with ye, I'll show ye. I know, maybe that sword could have been good, but it was trash. And I'm not using swords anyway, so even if I was... We need to get a shop vac, just because those are better. They last forever, too. Trex, Trix, what are you doing here, Trax? Hey, you're that imp I saw in the military camp. You're one of the fools who turned the soldiers on me. Ah, yes, Anx, sorry about that. Flix, Trix, Anx, good imp now. Anx, good imp now. What marks we want with Anx? I've come to try to convince you to join the Council of Seven. According to Zahandrix, you're the chosen imp, not him. Trax, Flix, Anx knew, Anx knew you'd come. Anx been hiding here, waiting, Trax, Trax. Hiding why? Evil, evil peoples, called Black Ring they are. Anx was member, Trax, Trax, and they want Anx dead. The Black Ring? You used to be one of them? You've been in foul company, imp. Flex, Anx no, Anx no. Black Ring and Ansk are hate kin now. Ansk go to council. Just say the following words and you'll be teleported there immediately. Trex Flicks, here, take this crystal ball. Use it to leave this magical place. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad. Don't think there's anything else. Augmenter plant. He lives in the stone hive just up there. Well, troll S. Very nice. I got all kinds of treasures to sell. Okay, you gave me a magical item. Where is it? Up and at them. Done. That's two council members down. Now we can go to more Danius. It's way faster for me to just click on my pyramid. Because this will take me straight to a... Whoa. For some reason, it thinks I'm still in the inn. Just because I have this, like, right here. Like, this is my little Hooverville that I've created for myself. Why get a house when all of the people I could possibly sell items to are right here? Why do I need a house? Glad I thought of it. Yes. Inventory reset. Ooh. Let it flow. Ooh. The sound of money entering my pockets, dude. No greater sound in land. You have 1,600 gold left, huh? Well, as much as I'd love to relieve you of it, eh? I'm afraid you can't afford my wares, sir. I've traveled far and wide to places you'd never believe to sell you these treasures, and the least you could do is pay me what I'm owed. And he doesn't have anything... Dagger, well, that's my good dagger. Not selling that. You're out of your mind. If you thought I was. Very good. Troll S. Man, I sure hope he has some charms that I want. Fire res and spirit, please. One or the other, but I'd really like both, if at all possible. <sighs> that's annoying to me. That is so annoying. <sighs> Boy, I sure wish there was a way to reset merchants restoration and tell it okay so it's changed this time mana huh so i guess as long as i didn't check his i don't know it's weird it's hard to tell what the trigger is fire and uh spirit please and dex 
mana, blay. Great if you're a mage. I had like over a thousand mana. And like Divine Wrath was like hella cheap. Considering what it did, it was a really cheap spell. Fire res, nice. Well. Thank you. So 20 fire res, 15 poison res. Statistics. I need more spirit res, yeah. Like I'm gonna need more poison, fire, and spirit. It's just uh like once we have divine blessing, we'll be able to buff ourselves up to resist a lot of that stuff. But at least getting it to fifty percent would be nice base a nice base number to have. In my humble opinion. Uh this should be open. And I can also tell him that I saved George. Okay. Mm, am I missing something? Did he remove... Are the stairs gone? Did the stairs disappear for this part or what? Did one of them have the key? Uh, maybe one of them dropped a key somewhere and I didn't notice. Oh, wait, it's in here, huh? Yeah. Yes, yes. Getting angry for no reason. Sorry. Oh, I've been sitting for too long. Martanius. Good morrow, my friend. God, it's good to see you again. I was beginning to think I'd never get out of here. What happened? Well, after Lanterlor, Joram, Otho, and Gomo left for Riverton, I started researching why the source has ceased to function as it should. I foolishly thought that I'd be safe here. Then, during the night, that woman came here with her army of orcs. She somehow blocked my magic and locked me up. I thought I'd never get out of here. I'm glad I could help you, and as a matter of fact, you can help me easily. What can I do for you? All the recent chaos and hatred in the world is the work of the Black Ring. Zandalor and I think we can counter them by reuniting the Council of Seven. Where'd those orcs come from? Huh, they marched right through the front. Sorry, my phone distracted me. They marched right through the front door. Hold on, let me one second. I gotta close this shit. And close that. Sorry about it. I'm gonna have to exit out and enter the game again just because everything's gonna get all dark. Uh, they marched right through the front door. I'm afraid the humans are losing that, <laughs> losing this war, my friend. The army can't hold back the orc war bands, and good people are being killed everywhere. Even here in Pacifist, even here in Pacifist, Alvroth. I have failed. My life's work trying to bring the seven races together has become a mockery. Uh, times are bad indeed, but there's still hope. Come help me. What do you mean? All the recent chaos and blah 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 blee, blah blah blue. This be wonderful indeed, but uh, what has this to do with me? I have visited the ancient gathering place of the League of Seven. They who fought against chaos and destruction generations ago. That place is still a nexus point for magic. There it was revealed to me that you must represent the human race in the newly formed Council. I have many more questions to ask, but first things first, what do you want me to do? Go join the Council of Seven. You can use a magic power word to teleport you there. It is... Agreed, I'll go there right away. See you there, my friend. <laughs> Mm-hmm, that's definitely the thing. Okay, very nice. Three birds, one stone. Three birds, one stone. Ugh, why do be? It is getting close to that time of night where it's time for me to start winding down. But I needed footage, yeah. So here we are. Hold on, control S. Like I said, the game gets weird whenever you all tab out of it, so I need to exit out and exit, exit out and re-enter for it to, uh, fix itself. But yeah, chat was covered up by that stupid fucking bot message that I had to ban, so I had to alt-tab out and it was a whole ordeal. See, now it's not all jacked up looking. Any of you clowns by chance sell, uh... Thank you again for saving me, Marked One. God's how I hated being a snake. If I had been born to crawl in my belly and eat rats, I'd have been an imp. <laughs> Sorry, we did just not the best at telling jokes. Uh, very funny, just don't tell that joke to our imp councilman. Now, I need to know if you're willing to take part in the ritual of blessing. Certainly I will, Marked One. Who must stop the evil of the Black Ring? Okay, do you have any... No, he doesn't. Sells decently high potions, though he does. Of course I will. Okay, that's good. It was my pleasure, my time. Okay, so greetings, Marked One. I must thank you again for rescuing me from the hands of the Black Ring. The gods really knows what they had in store for us both. Uh, I found out the man who murdered George was his drug dealer. His name is Tutaman. But why did this Tutaman murder George? If George could not pay anymore, surely killing him would not pay back his debts. That is true, but Tutaman was also a vampire, and George knew this. George threatened to expose him. A sad story this is indeed. Well, at least we know the truth now, and I promised to give you a reward, didn't I? Please accept this book. It'll learn you more about the arts of healing. Uh, it was my pleasure, Mardania, especially because I now require your help. Do you know a merchant named Carlo? By Lord Sugar's Bleeding Blade, don't tell me you bought anything from that crook. His stock is all false as a whore's promise. Oh, it was Carlo. It was my pleasure. I know, Marked One, I know. Be assured that I will take part in blessing you even though I have moral quims over the actual ritual. I consider it my duty to do so. Uh-huh. 
Also, he, okay, he doesn't have anything to sell. Neither does this. Well, this, he'll sell stuff later, but uh, that time is not now. So, lizard, we have all this now. We're just missing the dwarf and the elf. Aha! Uh -huh, I recognize the dwarf's location. He's in Glen Boris, the overground. The overground. Overground. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The overground dwarf village. Go there as soon as possible, my friend. He seems to be. Uh, you would probably say above ground, right? My friend. He seems to be a frequent traveler. We must not lose track of him again. Where is Glen Boris? Glen Boris is a small dwarven enclave east of Stormfist Castle. Unlike a typical dwarf community, it is built overground, not underground. It dates from the time of the first ten tentative trade links between the dwarves and the humans many hundreds of years ago. At that time, an alliance was forged between the two races, which still holds firm. You should receive a cordial welcome. Very well. So yeah, he's there. And then we go to the Dark Forest to solve the problem between uh, dwarves and elves. Anyway, where were we? We are convening the League of Seven, yes? But hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Hopefully you all are doing well. Hopefully you're prepared for a new semester. I don't envy you. The idea of going back to school has always been something that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, pardon me. I've always felt uh, melancholic around this time just because I, I knew that summer was ending and I was going to have to go back to school. Not anymore, like, I don't know, man. I, I have no interest in getting my master's degree right now. I just don't. I wish I did, but I don't. I'm not interested in going further in debt to then work for a public school to pay it off in 10 years. Like, nah, F that, dude. And right now they're hounding me for money, but it's like, you can't get blood from a stone, dude. Like, I don't have it. And I've applied for forbearance, which... My application has been processing for like two months now, so it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. They want to throw me in debtor's prison. Well, let it be documented. That's what happened to me. Um, Glen Boris, Glen Boris. It's not actually called Glen Boris on the map. It's called Dwarven Village. Shut up. He says the same thing every time, dude. So, greetings, I'm Eolus Thunderstorm, Dwarven Ambassador to the Six Races. You come in a very important. You come at a very inappropriate time if you wish to sample our famous dwarven hospitality, human. The axe of stone has been stolen. Today, I have to write a letter to King Kelp Dunatrim to tell him of our great loss. I'd like to know more about this axe of stone. The axe of stone was used in combat by the god Duna. After Duna left this world, she gave the weapon into our care. It's a catastrophe that the elves have stolen that magnificent weapon. The elves are responsible for the theft of the axe of stone. I, damned Trixie elves, must have sneaked up, must have sneaked up to the commemorative plinth where the axe of stone rested and had away with it in the night. We caught an elf near the scene of the crime. He hasn't confessed yet, but he will when Gregor sets his torturer on him. Who's Gregor? Gregor Dunatrim is the king's brother and the mayor of this dwarven settlement. Can I investigate the crime myself? I wish this terrible matter to be solved as much as any dwarf. Hm, there's no need to investigate anything, human. The bloody elves were responsible for the theft and will make them suffer for it. End of saga. I don't believe the elf stole your artifact. Let me prove that you're wrong. Why waste your time when matters are so crystal clear? Well, if you have nothing better to do, go talk to the mayor and the elf. Here, I'll mark the mayor's house on your map. The elf is locked in the cellar until such time as we take him to our king for final judgment. Tell me more about your king. Kelp Dunatrim is our leader and resides in the halls of Karamix, where flows the wondrous river of gold. River of gold? What are you talking about? Deep within the mountains to the west, my brother dwarves live in a vast underground system of caverns. Now that's the now that's the natural way to live underground with a stone roof over your head. None of these elfish trees and sky and stuff. A shining river of gold and jewels run through the hills of halls of Karanemics. Karanemics, yeah, from end to end. It's a sight you make weep. You make you weep for joy. Uh, how can I be granted an audience with your king? My people live in the great halls beneath the Dwarven Mountains. Our longtime allies, the humans, are always welcome to enter the underground city and are often granted an audience with Kelp Dunatrim, our king. How do I get to the Dwarven Halls? You have to pass through the Dark Forest and follow the road leading west. Give me your map. Uh, give me your map of the forest and I'll show you the best route. How do I get to the Dark Forest? Hmm, you're not a seasoned traveler, eh? Well, go south past the embattled village until you reach the Great Forest. It's here and here on your map. I want you to join the Council of Seven. Aye, that's no surprise. Zandalor wrote a letter to Kelp Dunatrim, our king, telling you you'd come and ask one of us dwarves for help. But as long as we have not received the Axe of Stone, I cannot join your cause. I must see it recovered, ere I can go a-wandering with humans. I'll speak to you again later. 
So yeah, you can't do anything with this dude until you go and solve. Like, basically, one block lifts the other, as Septimus would say. You have to go and do the elf one, because doing the elf one also entails you doing the dwarven one. They're kind of going hand in hand with each other. Uh, the prison is over here. So I think this is the mayor's house. There's Gregor. So this building right here is the prison. Oh, guard. Control S, because I sure as heck don't want to read that again. Ugh, it is very sticky and wet. Normally that's, well, certain kinds of situations, that's not too bad, but I hate that f the feeling of moisture in the air. I can't stand that shit. Help me, stranger. These short-arse bearded bastards have tortured me for hours. I don't know how long I can endure the pain and the humiliation. God's what they did to me with a peacock feather defied all decency and reason, and I've, no and I've done nothing wrong. It's funny because it's silly. Uh, I want to help you, friend. What's your name? I'm Arendellis, a wood elf of the Larkwing family. I'm just an innocent vintner. I came up to the dukedom to deliver some of my fine elven wine to a merchant in Verdistus. So why the dwarves imprison you? I was traveling back to Dark Forest when something hit me hard on the head. When I woke up, I was gagged and blindfolded. You were kidnapped? Very interesting. I was abducted by at least two people, you see. I could over you see, I could overhear their conversa their conversation because they thought I was still unconscious. I clearly remember the harsh voice of a human and the grumbling voice of a dwarf. What happened next? They dumped me near the commemorative plinth in the dwarven village. I was to be I was too befuddled by the blow to do more than lie on the ground and groan a little. Shortly later a patrol of dwarves found me mm, excuse me, and accused me of having stolen the axe of stone. It's ridiculous. I'm the victim here. <sighs> Tell me more about the couple that abducted you. I don't remember much. Remember, I was barely conscious and simply can't remember what they actually said. I do remember the dwarf had a slurred voice and smelled strongly of mead, but most of them. But don't most of them? I can't, I can't give you any details about the human save that his mere presence sent shivers down my back. That man has the soul of a venomous snake, I'm certain of it. Heh. <laughs> You read about dwarves all smelling of mead. I think they must sup it instead of mother's milk when they're babies, but uh, that doesn't help me find the felon you describe. No, this dwarf was really thinking of bad mead. He smelled as if he'd been wallowing in a bath of the noxious, sticky stuff. He stank of rancid honey and raw alcohol from ten paces off. Rest as easy as you can, friend. I'll do my best to prove your innocence. Farewell. Don't they all? Uh huh. Well, listen, man. You're in a dwarven prison. I would not be antagonizing them further, but uh, you do you. Uh, let's go here and talk to Glenn. I mean, Gregor. Greetings, human. I'm Gregor Dunachin, mayor of Glenboris. What can I do for you? <laughs> uh, just how much have you had today, Gregor? My head's fair swimming after mere seconds in your presence. Ale, did you say ale? You damn fool, human. Through dwarves, don't put that slop on their lips. Mead, we drink mead, you blasted idiot. Can you not tell the difference? I don't know what the fuck this accent is, but I'm sticking with it. Mead is good for the muscles, makes you stout and powerful it does. Why doesn't you bring me some of We'll share a few tales of battle and drink. What do you say? <laughs> uh, I'll do my best and fetch the mighty mayor of Glenbor some mead. Uh, there's a dude who sells it in town, if I remember. Because I had to look it up, because it's like, bring him some mead, and it's like, okay, but like, from where? And I think there's a guy here somewhere. Where's he at? Nope, not you. Is it? Shut up, dude. Would you care for a cool ale from Old Rimmer here, human? I have never cared much for the rinse water sold at the taverns abouts here, so I get myself a brewing of my own. Would you care for some bottles of decent price, friend? Yes, I'd like a bottle. How much for it? Very well, it's a deal. He says mead, but you can buy the ale from that guy. Ho, oh, citizen, what is that funny smell coming from you? I am ask the same of you, dwarf. You stink of dung from two halberds lengths away. Oh, a human, I thought it was Rowan the pig breeder. Why is it all you humans smell like pigs? I don't know, why do you smell like a dung pit? I'm Grod the dung lugger. I haul excrement from the village and fertilize the fields. It's an ancient and honorable trade. And profitable. But the odor is a bit of a setback. I suppose you don't know any girls with no sense of smell, do you? Any race, I'm not picky. I did know a nice little imp woman in Riverton a couple of years back. She couldn't smell a rotten fish if you held it under her nose. Her name is Furnix. If I see her, I'll tell her to pay you a visit. Last I heard, she was single, looking for her husband. Sounds perfect, Furnix, you say? Maybe I'll wander down that way and pay my respects. Good luck, I'm sure you'll be a lovely couple. It's not a quest or anything, and I don't remember meeting such a, an imp woman, so... Your character could be lying. Or he's just talking about an adventure that we were never on. Which is weird. Here you go, my dwarven friend. I brought you some mead from the local tavern. Shed a few gulps with me, human. <clears throat> ah, that be mighty fine stuff you brought. You know something? Those damned elves in their woods will cause plenty of problems for us. 
What makes you think we'll have troubles with the elves? Arrogant, high and mighty minded devious creatures they are. Now if I were dwarven, if I were dwarven king, I'd er, march an army against them. My new friends will help me when it comes to that time, see if they don't. Uh huh, your friends? Who are these friends of yours? Shit, damn idiot. It's a blasted secret. They got great plans with me, they do. Me being mayor and all. Sorry, this voice is killing me. <coughs> Me being mayor and all, mighty smart they be too. We'll kill all those damn elves soon enough, burp. I thought you were friends, Gregor. I brought you this mead. Only friends share mead, surely. Tell me about these fine friends of yours. Lean in close then and I'll tell you, but you keep your voice down. They live in a secret cave in the halls of Karamix. Place is well guarded by the stone sentry. Vicious bugger he is. Need a password to get past him, you do, burp. Your friend sounds like a fine bunch. I'd really like to pay them a visit and give them your greetings. The password? I mean the password, wink. It's a... Damn, it's prophecy. Yes, that's it. It's a prophecy. He has to tell it to the stone sentry in the halls of Karamax, you know. Oh, I better be going. And just like that, he spills the beans. You fuckers. You made me spill the beans. There's not much to do after this. It's just, like, we are going to be forced to fight, like, level 40 dudes. 50. They might even be 50. They are annoying. It's going to be an annoying set of fights. But before we do that, we're going to go down to the Dark Forest, and there are a couple of quests for us to be doing there. Uh, I don't know about the treasure maps, though. I have to remember. I have to look up where to find them. It's not a it's not a memory thing. It's a looking it up where it is thing, because I never know. I mean, I got this Dwarven armor. It might not even be necessary for us to get the Larian armor. It's just, uh, have I sold everything? Yeah. Why, yes. Yes, I have. Oh. This dude still has my money, so his inventory has not been updated, which is whack. I don't know. Sometimes you have to talk to a different merchant for them to upgrade their inventory or change it or whatever. Reset it. Refresh it. Ugh, I hate humidity. I hate feeling sweaty. What is it you have for sale, my good merchant? If Well, he only has $1,600 on him, so he's not been reset either. Lame. Very lame. Um, did I pick up the one down here? No. Why would I have? Why would I have picked up the Archer's Guild one? Um, I've I've pretty much cleared up the entire map, right? Like I didn't I didn't really stream me doing it, but I think it might have been part of the four hour footage that was lost. It's not lost, it's just the audio quality is crappy, so I have no intentions of uh using it unfortunately and i'm not redoing four hours worth of just unaliving orcs sorry in a system run by algorithms you have to play by their rules and uh people need to be coddled and you can't talk about killing fantastical creatures it's one thing to talk about killing people it's another to be talking about killing you know things that aren't real it is what it is those are the rules by which oh look at you yeah don't even give me experience yeah, I should have picked that up last time we were here, but... Say la vie. Yeah, this dude didn't even give me experience. I'm, like, more than twice his level at this point. Control S, and now I do basically what I always do. We're gonna run around killing everything. 